hello and welcome welcome back to my channel thanks for clicking through to my channel if you're just watching me for the first time i say welcome my name is david oisamuji yes i'm your graphics designer and i'm going to be designing a podcast cover if you've not noticed podcast podcasts are becoming very very popular and you need to know how to create a catchy podcast cover because that will be the first point of interest for your viewers to click and listen to your podcast so if you want a good podcast i'm your boy you i'm the person you want to listen to yes i've had so many reviews on five and upwork and i'm sure i'll be able to create a very good looking stunning podcast design as you're going to be seeing from my channel from now on so if this is something you want to you're going to be interested in make sure you like subscribe and i will do this for you trust me at cross i'll make it work for you so let's go let's go to my system and i'm going to create something unique for you guys stay tuned one love so now i'm going to be de designing a road to weld podcast cover at okay and i'm going to be showing you the process okay so now let's go road to weld my step process starts like this going to first to file making sure i have the right dimension which is width 3000 height 3000 resolution 300 pixel 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 inch okay every other thing remains the same okay so i just click on okay which is the first step second step is getting my element okay remember if you have your own element already it's fine if you are using your own particular image also fine every step every process has a different process but when i say my own step process my rule of thumb i mean make sure you put your element which is your image or your subject in your podcast first before you bring in your text so that you can match the colors of the text that is the plan so for this one i'm gonna go in and bring in my element which is going to be um okay gonna be well um i'm thinking about it so let's not waste time don't want to waste time oh so the woman okay we don't want to waste time on this it's always best you already have your set process so that you don't waste time with design okay so you can just go over i'm assuming you already have your own image you can use if not make sure you get one for yourself you can take one for yourself also right you can take one for yourself just have that doing what it has to do okay so for this one i will just use this particular image I'll just use this particular image i like the image is high graphics i high intensity and i have the right to use it okay so now i'll just click on this right to use it for educational purpose okay and see this is where it's from you can go there and see okay creator light field studio okay so i'll just save this image if this image is quite it's quite high quality so it can definitely work um there's something i was supposed to do here which i did not do and i will have to correct that anytime you download your image always name it always name it so that you can come back to it in future okay so for this one i'll just name it rich black lady my lady okay so now we have the image all i have to do now is to drag it and put it into photoshop okay so now here it goes you can see it's quite small but thank goodness it's an high quality image so we can drag it before we press enter we'll just move your cursor to the edge and you want to be pressing down three buttons on your keypad or two buttons on your keyboard and your left mouse click on your mouse so you do alter it key shift key button and your left mouse click button and just drag that image out okay drag the image out 
okay so now i have it like that now if i press enter matches properly and super, super clear okay so that's it how the image is supposed to look like okay as you can see i'm moving it a bit to the left okay to do that i'm just pressing my left arrow button on my keyboard because i want a bit of the flower to show and i'm going to be putting the text here in so i want you to see what she's actually looking at which is the window through the private jet okay so now now that we have that this is just the first step the second step is to get in our text okay we want to get in our text for this one you can decide to make your text more classy or just flat to match okay so to do that we just bring in our text i'm not sure this is the text i want to use the road um it looks looks small let me find a okay you can just find yes this is the text so this is the one i want to use okay you can see it's quite small you want to do your control your text is quite small make sure you highlight the d do your control c your keyboard move your cursor to one of the 90 degree edges press your alternate key button shift key button your left mouse click button and drag that out okay so cool so now that we've dragged that out you just press your left mouse click button and move it a bit okay so now we have it like so we can now come over and change the color so to change the color i can decide to cl right click just on this edge you can see i'm still a light head on the t the d so i'm just going to right click you know give me a pop-up i'm just going to color overlay and then because i want to take colors from this flower okay so i'm just going to click on that and just try to get a color from the flower okay but if i search get it from our top um i will have to move that down too far or okay i can also get the white i can use white but white won't work for all yes it might work for the road okay but then i will have to change for the world so we're just gonna do that okay so now i can continue typing just here okay the road to okay so now that we have that okay we have that we don't want that going close to the plate because the plate is actually white so you won't be able to see it so we can place that just like that okay that's where i want it to be now i'm going to duplicate it so to do that i'm just going to press my alter key button make sure i'm alighting this road so i'm just put my cursor on any of the letters press down my alter key button my left mouse click button and move that downwards as you can see i've done that so I'll just move it down a bit as you can see i can't really see what i just put down there and that's because i have to change the color so to do that first thing first i will change this right up to the weld so i will just change that to weld okay first thing first so now that we have that okay we have that same weld we can then go over right click again the way i showed you you can go back and watch that come to you see blend mode you click on that and now we want to take the green okay i'm gonna take the green just finding one that stands out okay so we can just take that like so press ok so now we say road to world okay you can just play around with the placement okay 
for me i would like to leave it just the way it is i'm okay with it right so it says road to wealth quite easy not complicated a design so if you want the the road tool to pop out from the background you can decide to add what we call a drop down shadow you can see drop down shadow you can just click on that as you can see that giving it a little pop just look at the text look at this edge once i click off of that it goes out becomes flat when i click on that it becomes rounded so you can do that and it's just going to give it a little bit of pop so now we have that it says the road to wealth okay i can decide to change that wealth color if you are not seeing it so clearly you can just go over again okay click on your and just you can change that to pink if pink works you can change that to a top color and that's why i always advise you work you work with the element okay so this works also so you can see this road to wealth right you can see it also work if the white is too white you can also change that to a different color i think this works so we can leave it at that and just go over go to file and we want to save it now right so we we'll go to save as okay and this one we just put in the text the road remember you first want to save it as photoshop watch it watch it so once it's done then you go over to file again and save that as png or jpeg and that save it as png get a very high file but jpeg you still get an i file which is okay depending on what platform you're uploading to i'm going to show you how to create 3d mockups of your podcast at of your podcast cover art i'm going to show you how to create 3d mockups okay so make sure you're watching and staying tuned watching to the end now we'll just click on png and i will save that so now make sure everything is high quality 12 maximum large progressive scale 3 so i'll just click on that it works for me every time now you're seeing okay it has saved up already so we can go to pictures and just find road okay this is it so we we'll just click on it and you can see how attractive it's looking just like so your design does not and should never be complicated okay should never be complicated super easy design also works super magic okay your design should never ever be complicated are you back to my face so you see how easy it is to create a podcast design podcast design should never never be complicated within a few minutes we're able to create the one you just watched right about now so if you're interested in more videos like this i would advise you to you know subscribe so you're left now you're going to be seeing a video popping up make sure you click on that video watch that video to the very end so that you have a total control of your design and you don't have to spend a lot of money sending it out to designers but if you want me to design your podcast cover for you i'm your boy just mail me and i'll do that for you stay blessed video to the left Make sure you watch that and I will see you on the next one.